Your Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, and Your Excellency Madam Margaret Kenyatta, First Lady of the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency Madam Monica Chakwera, First Lady of the Republic of Malawi. Your Excellency William Ruto, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya and Madam Rachel Ruto. Your Honor Raila Odinga, former Prime Minister of the Republic of Kenya. Our Excellency Ani Waiguru, Governor of the Kinyaga County, and all governors here present, all protocols observed. Ladies and gentlemen, Muriega Andrew Kinyaga Abarzenu Mwezangu, Saseni Niaje, Mkopoa, Malawi na Kenya, Nindugu wa miaka mingi sana. Tangia wakati wa baba zetu, wa inchi zetu, Mzee Jomo Kenyatta wa Kenya na Mzee Gwazi Dora Kamsubanda wa Malawi. Nimshimiwa Rais Jakwetu le kutembelea Kenya ni utibitisho wa undugu wetu na umoja wetu. Na ombeni wa Kenya na wa Malawi Tudumishe umoja wetu. Tujenge uchumi wetu. Wanchi zetu. Tusaidiane kudumisha amani katika zetu na Afrika. Kwa niaba ya wananchi wa Malawi na kukaribisha Malawi Mheshimiwa Rais Uhuru Kenyatta Karibu sana Mungu awabariki watu wa Kenya wote Asante sana Your Excellency this Mashuja day I am honored to join you in celebrating those who fought for Kenya's freedom and continue to fight for Kenya's transformation at various levels. Today, Kenya's joy is Malawi's joy. For us, the struggle for independence in Kenya and Malawi is one of the things that binds us together. The struggle for independence in Kenya and Malawi was led by patriots who sacrificed their freedoms to safeguard ours. The struggle for independence in Kenya and Malawi was a fight against the same foreign oppressor. The struggle for independence in Kenya and Malawi was a battle fought in the same decade. It is therefore no accident that after the founding father of Malawi became its prime minister in February of 1963, the founding father of Kenya became its prime minister less than six months later. It is no accident that after Kenya gained her independence in December 1963, Malawi gained her independence less than seven months later. 
It is no accident that within less than five years of Kenya and Malawi gaining their independence, the founding father of Kenya hosted the founding father of Malawi here in Kenya in a joyous October like this one today. Even today, it is no accident that when my government was deciding which road in Malawi's capital to upgrade to a multi-lane highway before any other, the obvious choice was the Kenyatta Drive that connects Malawi's House of Parliament to Malawi's largest hospital. Indeed, it is no accident that the city of Mzuzu in the north of Malawi, the city of Lilongwe in the center of Malawi, and the city of Blantyre in the south of Malawi, all have at least one road named after Kenyatta. All this is because the founders of my nation wanted to make it clear for generations to come that those celebrated as heroes in Kenya's struggle for independence are celebrated as heroes in Malawi. And Mze Jomo Kenyatta epitomizes all such heroes and many that I am learning even today. The bottom line is this. Whatever path you take to trace the history of independence in Kenya and Malawi, one fact is clear and indisputable. The struggle for independence in Kenya and Malawi did not just take place simultaneously, it also took place symbiotically. So by celebrating this day together, we renew our brotherhood in the struggles we face and share. By celebrating this day together, we rekindle the flames of love and friendship between our peoples. By celebrating this day together, we reignite the solidarity our nation's founders established between us. And by celebrating this day together, we rejoice in the freedoms that light our path into the future. And as I stand here with you all, I see that future. The future I see for our two nations is one of shared exchanges from shared hospitality. The future I see for our two nations is one of shared prosperity from our shared opportunities. The future I see for our two nations is one of shared victories from shared struggles. The future I see for our two nations is one shared of shared celebrations of shared heroes past, heroes present, and heroes future. It is we, Kenyans and Malawians, who must fight for that future. It is we, Kenyans and Malawians, who must pursue that future. So let us create that future, a future of peace, a future of transformation, a future of genuine love amongst ourselves. Because Africans, this is the future we desire. Let us build that future. Let us birth it. If we please, let us become that future. And God bless Kenya and God bless Malawi. Asante ni sana, mabibi na mabwana. Nashukuru sana. Bless you.